we're going to be going over how to do linear regression using R. Um, this is specifically is univariate linear regression, which for the purpose of this video, just know that we have a y and an x, and we try to find the equation in the line. So the first thing we have to do is basically get a file um, that has some sort of linear data. Um, for this video, I'm providing the linear file. Um, just follow the link. And then just save it wherever you want. So this is a, a CSV file, and I'm saving it to my desktop. Um, so I set my working directory to my desktop, um, where the linear CSV file is. And the first thing we have to do is read in the CSV file into a data frame. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is what the file looks like. So, and if you're not sure, you know, uh, what raw data is, um, it really helps to see what class it is, and it's a data frame. So, part of this video is also getting acquainted with the data itself. So, if this is too much output, you can do head, and this over here just says I want the first, you know, 10 entries. Okay, and notice I have NANDs in my data. So, for example, um, some libraries, chances are, won't accept um, doing a regression when there's NANDs in your data um, because it basically throws off the calculation. Um, so with our um, LM um, allows you to basically have NANDs, and it works around it. But more on that in a second. So if you're curious what LM is, just question mark LM and it's just something to fit linear models. And here are the parameters or attributes. Okay, so the next thing we do is we input our data frame, data equals raw data, and then inside the data frame we have two columns, y and x, y and x. Okay, um, and so after we make a linear model. Um, if I want to see um, what the attributes of the model are, um, basically to see what you can do with it, um, there's coefficients. So if you want something parametric, uh, y equals mx plus b, um, basically find the slope of the line, or if you want to see what happens to the NANDs, or you know whatever else, um, it's helpful to know what the attributes of the model are. Um, so what I was talking about earlier is since our data has NANDs, I want to see what they, what the model does with them. Um, and I know this, there's something called na.action because it's one of the attributes of the linear model. And basically it omits the rows with the NANDs, which is fine for this application. Sometimes you want to fill the NAND with something else or, or filter out the rows in some way. Um, and so if you want, want to see the coefficients of the model, you just do... Um, the model and then coefficients. And I get the intercept, basically where it crosses the y-axis, and then the slope of the line. This is the mx part of the line, and this is b, your intercept. And that's just one of those like y equals um, mx plus b things. Um, I guess I'd have to do this if it was an r. Um, but ignore that. So if you ever want to predict a new value based on our model, um, so if you ever wanted to find, um, so in our data frame, um, head of raw data and 10 again, um, so X here is like 34, but if we were more curious about what happens when X is like three or, you know, whatever, you can predict values using R. And if you're not sure what predict does, you can just do question mark and see what predict is. Okay, and the next thing I want to do is basically plot this because the picture is worth a thousand words. And here's a scatter plot. So this code over here is just Y label. Here is X label and the title um, scatter plot. And that's it for today's video. If you have questions, please, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, I'll do a theory video on what linear regression is in the future, and that's it. Have a great day, and please subscribe.